Hello and welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. In this video we're going to uh, connect a Bluetooth keyboard uh, with the uh, brand new Raspberry Pi 3. And uh, as I'm sure everyone has uh, had read by now that the Raspberry Pi 3 um, now has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is well, how, how do you get a, a Bluetooth keyboard connected with the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, as, um, as I mentioned in the um, unboxing video, I downloaded the um, most uh, recent version of Raspbian, I put it on the uh, SD card and uh, you see the desktop here um, on the Raspberry Pi 3 and you know we, we're getting the the Wi-Fi uh, no problem at all um, I was kind of expecting though to see a Bluetooth symbol uh, doing a quick uh, Google search uh, saw some screenshots where the, there was uh, there was a Bluetooth already on there so uh, looking to maybe the next logical place maybe it's here in preferences I even went into the Raspberry Pi configuration didn't see anything about Bluetooth there so um, seems like in my installation here something seems to be missing so um, we're, we're going to take um, we're going to take a stab at trying to get uh, trying to get the Bluetooth going and um, getting the keyboard connected and uh, I've got uh, uh, this uh, HP K4000 uh, Bluetooth keyboard that I had here at the CoLab already um, that I used with a different with a different computer so we're going to try to use that so alright so let's let's go here to the desktop and open up the command line uh, and we'll make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So, um, I probably should have did this uh, ahead of time, but let's just try to make it where it's a little bit easier to read there. There we go. All right, so, um, let's just uh, for good measure let's do an update make sure everything's current so sudo apt-get space update um, and uh, the Wi-Fi is connected so it's, it's going to pull down um, everything here takes a few seconds and then um, we're going to we're going to check and see if, if we if we even got Bluetooth installed so and from the best I can tell it's going to be Pi Bluetooth and Pi Bluetooth is already the newest version. So we, we've got we've got the Bluetooth already it is installed. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do, let's let's see what the status is. And we're gonna use the helps if I type it right, we're gonna use the system CTL status. Bluetooth and uh, Bluetooth service loaded and active running okay that looks fine alright so why why are we not seeing anything alright well let's let's try to see if um, we need to install the the GUI um, we're gonna Look at this here. So this 
this is uh, looking uh, looking on Google looks like these are the components we we probably need so let's look see um, okay one one thing listed here is not available but it's given me an alternative and there is nothing called blues utils okay all right well let's uh, let's try again let's try the um, let's try the one that they recommend here Blues is already the newest version. It's manually installed. Uh, looks like there's some other things here. Um, gosh. All right, let's go ahead and install the rest of the things here it thinks it needs. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't have everything. I don't have absolutely everything I need here. Yeah, I could have tried all this before we started recording, but um, what would have been the fun of that? Um, would have had it working, and I just would have said, hey, okay, here it's working. So we're, we're just cross our fingers and see how it goes here. And I'm kind of expecting that we will see something in the preferences menu once it gets done installing. So see if it actually does that or makes me a liar so all right we're moving along there it looks like it's starting to install blue man all right all right let's clear that let's take a look here preferences bluetooth manager now that's what i was expecting to see so I, uh, on the blog, I'll go ahead and um, I will make a note of those uh, additional packages that I uh, had to install. So we'll kind of document that. So now we got Bluetooth Manager. We'll open that up and see what happens. Um, gosh, look at that. All right, HP Bluetooth keyboard. Let's turn the keyboard on and put the keyboard in the in the right mode here now let's try connecting to it Okay, um, it does look like I do have it connected. It's not showing up on on the video, but it does look like it's connected. Let's see. I actually have a another monitor, and I I see what I am typing into the other monitor. So, okay, so. Um, Oh, okay, and we also uh, we do have a little indication there um, that it is connected. So, all right. So, um, took a little couple extra steps than what I expected, and um, of course, now the uh, the blue the Bluetooth <laughs> keyboard is connected, and nothing that I'm typing is going to be showing up here. Oh, there we go. All right. Switch back to this other keyboard. Okay, and so now that's what I was expecting to see. Um, like I said, it's it's a little quandary. You're going to have to plug in a regular keyboard, and uh, to to get things configured. And hopefully, other people are going to be luckier than I am. It some of the, some of the screenshots I saw. It looks like. Um, it was already everything was installed um, with the uh, with the uh, Raspbian. So that'll that'll wrap it up for this video. And um, if this was useful uh, at all, uh, uh, give us a thumbs up there and um, 
and like like the channel and uh, stop by the blog uh, ronokabi.info and I'll, I will uh, I will post those uh, a little bit of uh, of the extra information there about what uh, what kind of packages I did have to install. So thanks for for visiting and um, be sure and and check out the online store there. Uh, it's March 2006. We got a special discount code to the end of March. To give you 10% off uh, anything you purchase there on the online shop on the blog. And um, we will be right back again with uh, with another uh, Raspberry Pi 3 video, and uh, hope to see you soon.